The DTM takes the helm. 45 days prior to the season opener in Hockenheim, it's a case of pulling together for success. Rowing replaces racing supervised by Olympic champions. When you go into something and you're completely blank, you have no idea what to expect. Respect for the achievement. Great to look at the figures with the V. They are all big beasts. The high performance rowing center in Dortmund. Perfect spring weather for a gathering of elite athletes. Timo Scheider, Antonio Felix da Costa and Christian Vitoris drop in on Germany's Manth 8. The London 2012 gold medal winners explain their passion for the sport. It all starts well away from the water in the gym. A fitness crash course for race drivers with the emphasis on power. Rowing ergometers, muscle building and stabilization drills with the focus on power and stamina, just like in motorsport. It's quite similar to our muscular endurance training. Obviously, we don't need the beefy arms these lads have if they are to keep it up for 2,000 meters. But we do similar exercise to build stamina and upper body stability. And there are one or two similarities between the sport in other areas. The essential teamwork is definitely there in motorsport. We'll never succeed if the team behind the team doesn't pull together. And it's the same here in the boat. Every individual has to be totally up for it, totally motivated, and cover for someone having an off day. It's the same for us. The highlight? Joining the pros on the water. Ready, set, row! The pros are impressed with the rookies. I never thought they'd cope so well. I'm really surprised by their muscular coordination. We've had other folk here like entertainer Oliver Pocher and he didn't cope as well, quite the opposite. Rowing is a discipline where you have to pick up certain techniques very quickly and they did. You normally don't get far with folk who've never been rowing. It's hard to have them work as an aid quickly, but they picked it up in the space of 10 minutes. It shows they have real abilities. It was an out-of-the-ordinary experience for the drivers, too. A sensational challenge and a completely new sporting discipline for me. It's the first time I sat on a boat like this and discovered what it's really all about. It was very interesting how the lads prepare and the intensity of their preparations. They are out on the water every day at 6 in the morning before they go to work. Finally jumping in the boat, it's been really great fun. We've been lucky with the weather and we've had great help from the guys. They've all been really, really kind and, you know, try and make us improve. But the drivers will be back behind the wheels soon enough. The final phase of preseason begins with official DTM testing in Budapest in early April. And then it will be back to racing rather than rowing. <laughs>